is the five mistakes that the young and new entrepreneur can avoid? Okay, thank you for that question. Five mistakes, okay, let me go back. You know, I wrote a, a book called Face It and Fix It. And before I wrote that book, I actually did some research in terms of what leads to business failure. Because after my business was failing, I thought, well, there must be lots of other businesses that are not successful. So before I wrote that book, um, I'd already been training and teaching lots of business owners. And I found a pattern that there are actually 43 reasons why any business fails. 43 reasons, 43 different, 43 different reasons why any business fails. And I won't go all through all 43, it's in my book. But let me tell one of them. one of them is this, that they have the wrong business model, which I mentioned earlier on, in terms of they're not clear who their ideal client is. They're not clear who's gonna buy from them readily. That, that, that's not clear. In other words, they're not clear on the niche, who this product, this product or service is suitable for. So in other words, for example, I've had um, clients in the past who says, I sell this water. Okay, and the, my water is for everybody. I said, are you sure? Yes, true, everybody needs water, but your product is packaged this way. You spend a lot of time packaging it, it looks good. So do you think it's a premium product, a, a, a competitive price product in the middle market? Or is it a low-end product? You tell me. Because there's other products, water products on the shelf. Are everybody buying the premium water brand? No. So you've got to be clear who is your ideal client, who's going to buy that for you. The other th mistakes they make is that they don't control cash flow. They don't control cash flow. And if you're not controlling cash flow, if you have no idea about managing the money that's coming in and, the, and controlling the expenses, you can't make a profit. And there is a difference between profit and cash flow. Because your accountant can tell you this month you've been profitable, but you look in the bank and say, there's no money. So how can I? So there's a difference I teach um, entrepreneurs that they need to watch out for sales coming in, the profit, which is just on paper, and the cash flow in terms of the, fl the flow of money through their bank account, not just rely on the bank account statement. The other thing they, um, they struggle with is they don't build the right systems in-house. This is number three. This is number three. This is number three, systems. In terms of, when I say systems, what are the different processes that we have to do as individuals or as a company? What are the different processes? And if you're bringing someone in, can you get them to follow that process? Why do we need process? Because that processes allows us to have consistent results. Without the right processes, it's always mishmash, haphazard, doing different things, trying to see if it works. But with the right processes, you can get consistent results. So that's the, that's the third thing. The fourth thing is as an entrepreneur, you started a business, you had the idea. You probably found the clients and they started paying you and you started to grow. But at some point you're gonna need a team. So number four is team. Who is on your team or who do you need to have on your team? And whenever you build a team, whether it's one person or two people or five people or 100 people, human beings bring along with it to the company their personal issues and issues that will affect the results of the company, right? Because, and so I teach people to actually set up rules or a code of honor for the team. And so if everyone's playing by the same set of rules, guess what, you're gonna get better results. Otherwise, the business owner, the entrepreneur, is always firefighting, trying to fix different things between different people when they should be able to do that. Because in the absence of rules, people play by their own rules, as you know. The other thing that they struggle with is as part of the business model is a big thing is the niche yeah. the clear niche that they need to focus on and um, continue targeting because if they are targeting the wrong people the result they get is actually lower but once they clear and define on these are the people who are going to buy my product they have the money and once they see it they understand it they're ready to buy Thank you for watching our videos. I hope our channel helped you to achieve more success in your business. We hope to see you in the next videos. So remember to click on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out the next upcoming videos. We also share some tips about business success on our Facebook and Instagram channels. 
So if you're interested, remember to click on subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram. See you in our next videos.